interesting when you talk about a Western paradigm, because right now, where finance is concerned, there's a new paradigm. And if you watch what has happened in Kenya with M-Pesa, what has happened with Ghana, with mobile money, you see that we've been able to leapfrog with the help of technology to the point where there's more money being transacted on the mobile money platform in Ghana than in checks and other regular mm -hmm. forms of the banking industry. So again, I, I think that is where the opportunity lies, to move this traditional banking system into the system which our people are using, are comfortable with. And, 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 and so the, for me, the, the, the great opportunity for, 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 for us now is that FinTech paradigm, the scale. Our people are comfortable with, with, uh, uh, the, uh, with mobile money and the like. Uh, our Internet money. money transfer, which was the, it's now 100 times done on that. In fact, if anything, it is that Western paradigm that has to catch up. So we have a very unique opportunity. And, and when, when, and, and when I, uh, we talk about infrastructure, that infrastructure, what is required to explode the finance to the SMEs has to come from mobile money, has to come from identification, has to come from the other bits and pieces like the credit bureaus, the collateral registry, and the bits and pieces that will now de-risk SME financing. Yeah. And using this paradigm that we have already, which has actually, we, I mean, think about it. In this country, we don't use cards. We actually do contactless payments over your phone. Right? Yeah. Same. So w w what, are, what are the things that we're saying? We're saying that it's, it's, there's an actually a unique opportunity, not by going to the Western paradigm and saying, how do we adapt it, but actually leapfrogging and doing something that we have proved can be done, our people are comfortable with. The first, this entrepreneur you're talking about, this SME you're talking about, has a phone. We can take that to the bank. They have mobile money. That's where we should be providing services to. We should be de-risking that and saying, how do I take your digital footprint? How do I take all the bits and pieces that you have? And how do I apply infrastructure to de-risk this? So that now there's a flood of money incoming for this new frontier. So I actually believe that we have an opportunity. It is to recognize it. It's to apply the, the, the money we have for infrastructure, which is, is, which is uh, much larger sums of money, towards getting the system working. And then it will. I, I'll give you a practical example. It's easy to say that our people don't save, that savings rates are low. I've seen an application running on mobile money here. And uh, in Kenya, it's Mshirari. In Ghana, we're calling it the Lex Swift. And I've seen tremendous growth in saving. And, 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 and people were using it on an active daily basis and using that as a basis for asking for credit. So it is possible. The thing is, we're not going to get there by the Western paradigm. We're going to get there by the new paradigms we are creating. That's great. Awesome.